Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. This will be using Hong Kong old style scoring. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to pick up on some strategies and insights into the game that can give you an advantage at the table. Let's get to those random pulls. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. I'm going to do four rounds, east, south, west, and north. So we'll start with east. And let's roll the dice just to randomly figure out which seat we're gonna be in to keep the variables fresh. I rolled a two, two is south. So we're seated at south, oops. We are in south seat and it is east round. So those two scoring elements might help in our decision making. If we are south, we are non-dealer. So we get 13 tiles. Let's see what we have to work with. Seat south, seat two. That's our own flower. We have a fawn already. Let's just say that we have a two fawn minimum. That's kind of a standard for beginner players. Okay, so for here, if we have a fawn already for our flower, first of all, we need to get a replacement. All right, now we have a major suit. We do have six discards, so that's pretty bad. I think what I would do here, I would try for all Pung because we have three pair. We could try for all Pung, that's three fawn. We have our own, fa own flower there. So I would just start by discarding at least these two because each of these could become a chow. Seven, eight, seven, eight. These could be chows. We could play all chow. This is ready for a chow as is this. So we could play all chow, which is a one fawn plus the flower, which is a fawn. That would be two fawn minimum. If we got another pair though in here, I would play all pung. So I'd throw these away first, hope to pair up to go for all pung, which is a bigger hand. If you would do something different, let me know. I'm always tempted to play bigger hands. An all chow hand would be one fawn versus all pung would be three fawn. With the flower course, that would be four fawn. And if we paired that up right there, that east, we could even get a fawn for that because it's the east wind of the round. Okay, let's move on to south round. South round. And we're going to be in seat nine this time. Nine is the dealer, which is seat one. We are dealer this time, so we get 14 tiles. You have a flower, two flowers. They're not ours. We're seat one. This is three and four. So that's not going to help. Let's get our replacements though. Okay. So we have one honor and we have mixed suits. So we've got to get creative here and figure out where the score is going to come from because we have mixed suits and no, no, and we don't have our own seat flower. So um, this is gonna be a difficult, a difficult hand to play here. If we were to play all chows and hope for our flower, we would have to throw the red. There's a potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, isolated potential chow, isolated here's a pair so there would be one two three four sets and a pair so these three 
can be discarded. I think that's how I would start. We're five away from all chows and we have to get our seat flower. That's going to be a, a pretty risky plan. I think what I would do is hold the red for as long as possible. And if I started drawing bands or cracks, maybe shoot for a half flesh. I don't like planning around a no flower fawn because of this. You draw these flowers here, that takes away that, that possibility. We have to have our seat flower and there are only two. So that is risky to bank on getting your own seat flower. Okay. Now we're going to do West Round. And we are in seat six. Seat six is number two. That's south. All right, we are in seat two, so we get 13 tiles. Seat two, we have a three flower. That's not ours. Let's get a replacement. So we have a few honors and a major suit. I say we play for half flesh. Look at all those cracks and honors. Even though those honors are singles, if we pair even one of those up, we could get score, especially for the dragons. The north, not so much because we're in seat two. But these are not necessarily going to help. I'd hold the four dots for as long as possible. I think a half flush would be good. Here's a potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. All we need is another pair to be ready, and then we need to pair up as well. Another crack, and maybe pairing up those dragons, and this would be a really nice hand. And so I would start by discarding these two, followed by sacrificing the four dots for a half flush. Half flush is three fawn. So we have four discards for a three fawn hand. If we went with all chows, we would have three discards with the honors and two isolated tiles, which is essentially five discards. I think we're closer to half flesh. If you would do something different, let me know. We are on North Round, and we are in Seat 4. Seat 4 is North. Okay, as a North, we get 13 tiles. No flowers. No flowers is a fawn until you get a flower that's not yours. Uh, let's see, we do have two pair here. Okay, so this is going to be a bit rough because we've got isolated tiles. I think probably I would go for all chows, no flowers. We could throw away these four right here. There's a potential chow. That's a isolated tile. There's a pair. You got to have a pair. And then here's two potential chows. So we could hold these and try to get tiles to fill in for another chow and discard these first. All chow, no flowers. Let me know what you think about random pulls for Hong Kong style mahjong. Write it in the comment section. And if you have a set, 
give this exercise a try and practice the next time you play. Let me know if you think it helps. I think it's a great way to learn all the hands, all the different scoring elements, I should say. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any potential strategy and maybe some insights into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, using Hong Kong old style scoring, may all your picks be keepers.